In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for MgSO4 plus K2CO3, magnesium sulfate plus potassium carbonate. The first thing we do for net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This molecular equation, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we're going to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, sulfates in general are soluble, so this is going to be soluble. Magnesium sulfate is soluble. It'll dissociate into its ions when you put it in water. Potassium compounds, also soluble. And then we get to carbonates. Carbonates are usually insoluble. Uh, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, those are exceptions, but this magnesium carbonate, it's insoluble. So it's not going to dissolve in water. That means it'll be a solid. These two will react. This will fall to the bottom of the test tube, precipitation reaction. On this side here, we have potassium sulfate. So potassium compound sulfates, going to be soluble there. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So magnesium, group two on the periodic table, that's going to be two plus. The whole sulfate, that's two minus. Good one to remember. So we have the magnesium ion, and I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus the sulfate ion. And then we have potassium group one on the periodic table. We have two of them. So we're going to have 2K plus. We said carbonate. This is also 2 minus. So we'll have the carbonate ion. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the product, we don't split solids up in net ionic equations. So we just write MgCO3. And then we had plus and 2 minus. So two potassium ions again. And the sulfate ion. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So as I look at the reactants and the products, I can see I have a sulfate ion right here in the reactants and in the products. That goes two potassium ions in the reactants and in the products. Get rid of that. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for MgSO4 plus K2CO3. Let me clean this up and I'll write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium sulfate plus potassium carbonate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus, two minus. That gives us a net charge of zero here. This is a neutral compound, so net charge of zero as well. If you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for MgSO4 plus K2CO3. Thanks for watching.